Welcome to Career Mode, episode number three with Chelsea on Next Gen. This is one of the biggest moments. This is one of the biggest decisions of the series. And after reading the comments on episode number two, a lot of people told me to sell Torres. A lot of people said, accept the 20 million for Torres. Get yourself a right back. And I started thinking to myself, I guess I'm going to do it. I let Torres go. It was a sad moment. But I thought to myself, and, and this is when it really, really hit my head, because as much as I want a right back, I need a right mid more than anything. See, the players that are playing right mid is Juan Mata and Oscar, and both of them are cams, but they can play the right mid position. So I started thinking to myself, I need a legit right mid. And why do I want a right mid? Because when I play Oscar, I want to play Oscar up until the 50th minute, and I want to, booyah, I want to be able to bring in uh, uh, Juan Mata behind him or, or if I want to play Juan Mata and Oscar at the same time then I want to be able to do that but I want to have a legit right mid and I noticed during this episode that I needed a right mid so selling Fernando Torres was a very very sad moment it was I didn't want Torres to go because I felt like I could have got El Nino playing that good football again and look at his sexy play here Eto with a nice move he swings it up top and uh, that's a booyah baby but I felt like I could have got El Nino scoring goals again and maybe sold them for a lot more money, but he's out the door. So now our guys are Eto, Lewandowski, and uh, Ba is our three strikers we have. And I'm happy with that. I think I'm done selling now. I think I'm good. I think, you know, Torres, we obviously took a big loss on him. His time at, at Chelsea wasn't the best. He wasn't in his best form here at Chelsea, but he moves on. I think it's better for him. I think it's better for the team. So with him being gone... I started thinking really, really hard about who do I want as a right mid. I want to pick up a right mid. I'm not too worried about my right back position. I have two right backs that I feel comfortable with, and I knew that I would bring a right back in during the transfer window in the winter time. So I started thinking to myself, who am I going to play at the right back position? I mean, at the right mid position. Who could be the perfect fit for this Chelsea team to play right mid? And I came up with two guys that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But right here, let me kind of explain what's going on on the screen. Because I haven't even told y'all what's happening. This was preseason. Uh, we went up 2-0 early in the game. And we started playing some pretty damn good football. Man, I felt good the way we were passing the ball. I felt really, really confident with this team. First game in preseason. We won 2-1 to one against a French team. This time we win 2-0 against uh, a Spanish team. Um, so we beat a French team. We beat a Spanish team. Both games we got two goals. This game we didn't suffer no goals. And Petr Cech was incredible guys throughout the next couple games that you're gonna see well the next this game and, and the next one i'm gonna show you in this episode petr Cech was absolutely fantastic he was by far the best player on the field so the next preseason game was against sevilla and i decided i'm gonna go ahead and sim this because i want to try to get a right mid and i also want to kick the bb uh the bpl off and the bpl kicks off today so i'm excited about that the next game will be a, a official game my first official game with uh with, with chelsea my first official game in the bpl so we win our next game two to one so that means three games in front in in preseason we won all three of them. And right here is the first right mid I'm going after. I offer 17 million and Terry for the Incredible Hawk. And then I see Nani and I say, Nani's not playing much at Manchester United. This would probably never happen in real life. I don't see Chelsea ever buying a player off of Manchester United like that. But I started thinking to myself, yo, look, Manchester United is not really playing him. His value is only 13 million. Let me offer 15 million for Nani, and if they let him go, then I'm about to pull in a great player for just 15 million. I would love to have Nani here at Chelsea. Five star skiller. I got that Portuguese connection with them. They said no. I bounced back. I hit them with 19 million, and I'm going to wait for their response on that. 19 million. If I pulled Nani for 19 million, that would be incredible. Remember, we still have the offer in for the incredible Hawk with Terry, and I believe 17 million. One thing I can tell you is I offered, some, I offered the same thing again, but they came back and said they wanted some crazy money for the incredible Hawk, something like 40 million. So hopefully we'll be able to pull them in. But anyways, we move on to our first official game. We got 11 Dawski playing in the front. We have Matic, the man that we brought in from Benfica. And he takes a rocket of a finesse shot in the beginning of the game. And it came off the crossbar and almost went into the back of the net. But somehow it didn't. And it was a very, very uh, epic shot. But it didn't hit the back of the net. That would have been awful, awesome if Matic on his first day in the BPL got himself a goal. But... You can see off the counterattack, they come right back at us. And one thing, one thing that I said already in this video was Petacek, man. He is fan 
fantastic, absolutely great goalkeeper. And I'm just glad that he's a part of Chelsea and he's on this team because I would not want to see him go anywhere. So we move on to the 11th minute. They're still attacking us. As you can see, I cannot get the ball off of them to save my life. I'm sliding. I'm dumb. I'm tackling. I'm doing everything. I'm shaking and baking. But Petr Cech came up big, stopping that one. They won themselves a corner, but they did nothing with it. A beautiful over-the-top through pass to Oscar. Oscar on a one-time volley. That goes wide. Could have been up 1-0, but you see Oscar there. He let a chance get away. We swing it to Lewandowski in the 28th minute. Lewandowski swung it up to Cole. Cole is always up and down the field, yo. This guy is a workaholic. Lewandowski back on it. 29th minute. I swing it over the top to Oscar. Now look at the finish. Booyah, baby. Our first goal with Chelsea. Our first goal that matters. This game matters. The rest of them were BS. Our first official goal with Chelsea as me as the manager comes from the Brazilian man Oscar I had him playing right mid and I had Mata playing Cam and he came up off that right wing and just put in a beautiful chip over the top through pass Lewandowski not getting a goal for Chelsea yet but getting an important important assist so we haven't seen Lewandowski score any goals 39th minute here's Matic the man we signed and look at the finish boom this is the reason we signed the defensive mid from Benfica. He's not that fast, but he wins the ball back. He's a workaholic, and he has a great left foot on him. Beautiful way to bring the ball down. Cuts inside and just smashes it into that bottom corner. Keeper with no chance. We're up 2-0 in the first game of the BPL, and I feel pretty damn good with my signings. Lavadowski got an assist. Matic gets a goal. I feel good. Coming off of halftime, 54th minute. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I, I, I slid for the ball with Terry. I give away a very, very, very crucial penalty. And not only do I give a penalty away, Terry gets a red card. So now we have to play the rest of the game with 10 men. And look at the graphics on that. I just missed the ball with Terry. Yes, it was a penalty. Yes, it was a red card. And it's down to Petr Cech. It's down to AKA Mega Man. I call him Mega Man because of his helmet, baby. He looks like Mega Man. So Mega Man, one-on-one. -on -one, what can he do with it? Ah, that's in the back of the net. Two to one, 57th minute. And this was a struggle now. Let me be honest with you. We did get some more chances, but it was more like, yo, make sure I defend that. Yo, he peer load me. He chipped that. You see that? I was more like, yo, let's defend this. Let's be smart. Nice over the top through pass there. Keep, smashes it, but the keeper came up with a save. And we were able to put it on ultra defense and just hold our way. No chances really happened. We held it. We got our first three points as the manager of Chelsea. I'm happy with that. We were at home at Stanford Bridge, and we got ourselves a nice, nice win. So... Let me know in the comments down below what you think about me signing Nani or the Incredible Hawk. I do have bids in for them right now. Obviously, nothing's been accepted, but hopefully I am. I'm, I'm pretty, I would be pretty happy if I got Nani. Let me know what you guys think about Nani coming to Chelsea. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up on this thing and tell your friends about the next gen career mode, baby. Make sure to subscribe. And I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you soon.